everybody and welcome back to the channel. What Peter and his friends refer to as the blip in Spider-Man Far From Home is one of the key points of the movie and main driving forces. The movie is somewhat about how Peter Parker and his friends are dealing with this and acclimating back again to their universe after half of it was wiped away and then came back. We got some details on exactly what happened in the blip or the Hulk snap that occurred in Avengers Endgame, again when Smart Hulk or Professor Hulk brought back the half that had been deleted by Thanos. But again, there are still some details that are muddy, but luckily today, after Spider-Man Far From Home and Avengers Endgame, we have a pretty good explanation on exactly what occurred. And why a lot of the people that might have been in danger during the snap, as of course the most popular example is of a plane, basically the theory goes that if people were snapped away while they were in a plane, if they reappeared exactly where they were before, they would just appear in the middle of the sky and fall to their deaths. Something like this was explained after Avengers Endgame, where it's explained that Professor Hulk did actually accommodate for this and people that may be in danger. Bringing them back to reality safely is that was something that he apparently did while he was snapping his fingers. But today, after the release of Spider-Man Far From Home and at the end of the Infinity Saga, we have a much better explanation on the blip and everything that occurred. And although none of it's groundbreaking, I still thought it would be interesting to cover on the channel. Basically, this is what they said about the greater details of the blip. When the whole team decided we are going to go with Mysterio, and obviously so much of Mysterio has to do with deception, it just seemed like a natural progression to move the story in that direction. Especially since Peter is also sort of lying to himself about not wanting to step up and not wanting to face the new reality that he finds himself in. It just felt very organic that everything was about deception and lying either to yourself or to others. You spend a lot of time in a room with the team just talking about all of this stuff. There were some things we definitely talked a lot about. Okay, so let's say you were in an airplane and you blipped and then you come back but the airplane is not in the same place anymore, so do you just blip back in the sky? And then, is it half of all life? What exactly does that mean, like cats and animals? And what happens to the bees? Everything was already in so much trouble, and we just got bogged down with the nitty gritty. We were told though, by Marvel themselves, that when Bruce Banner brings everyone back, that he accounted for that. That was actually a part of his wish. He wished for everyone not only to come back, but to come back safe and sound, so we don't have to worry about people falling out of the sky. I think it's really interesting that filmmakers that are working on other Marvel movies had similar debates that fans were having after the release of Endgame, such as what would happen to people in airplanes when the snap occurred, and other theories like that. But again, just as was officially explained to the people behind Far From Home, Professor Hulk actually did account for these things. And I just think it's interesting to revisit this. But what are your guys' thoughts on this, and exactly what occurred during the blip, and how Marvel did confirm that it was actually half of all life, not half of all humans and aliens, that fans Thanos actually managed to wipe out half of all living things, and then half of all living things were brought back, but were brought back safe, as again, according to Hulk's demands, when he actually had the Infinity Gauntlet himself. Anyway, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the Infinity War Hot Toy Figure Giveaway. At 250k subscribers, we'll be giving away a highly detailed Infinity War Hot Toy Figure. The rules to enter that are as follows. All you have to do is like our video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell us in the comments below what your favorite scene in Endgame was. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team and have a great day.